Hey KW community, welcome to the Kitchen Warehouse in-store kitchen. Today we are with Tanina Holder, recipe author amongst many other things, and we are making ice cream, which is um, a lovely thing that she likes to make. Um, let's welcome Tanina to make, show us how to make some strawberry ice cream. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, Today I'm going to show you how to make roasted balsamic strawberry ice cream. And the reason you roast the strawberries is just to sweeten them up a bit. And the reason you add the balsamic uh, vinegar is to also help with the flavour. It just sort of brings out the taste of the strawberries. So you just slice up a few strawberries, as many as you have, maybe a punnet. Your oven needs to be about 200, 220 degrees. And then we're just going to douse them in uh, the vinegar and roast them for around probably 10 to 15 minutes until they're nice and soft and sort of juicy and um, syrupy. So just that much is fine. Just toss them a little bit and into the oven. Okay, so our strawberries have roasted and they smell amazing and beautiful. And you can see there's quite a lot of liquid in there. So we're going to strain that off because that will just turn into ice in your, in your ice cream. Um, we're doing it while it's hot because we're just trying to speed up the cooling process as well. Oh, and what you're keeping is the strawberries. That would be amazing on a salad, just saying. Don't throw it out, use it for something else. You've now got strawberry balsamic vinegar. Pretty clever. So that goes in the fridge and then when we're ready, we'll put it through our ice cream. So you literally need four ingredients and something to churn it with, okay? So I'm going to start off by using olive oil. Don't be surprised by that. This will actually help keep the ice cream beautiful and scoopable. And if you use, I'm using Cobram, which this is a classic flavour, so it's not really strong. But if you use a milder one, it's, it, you know, you literally won't taste it anyway. So I'm going to just coat the bowl with that. And about probably, I think the recipe says about three tablespoons. So that's, um, you know... I'm a professional, don't try this at home. I know what it looks like, three tablespoons. Um, and then a tin of condensed milk. And go in, just scrape that out. And I wouldn't use the skimmed condensed milk, I'd just go for the full cream condensed milk. And then we're using beautiful cream here. This is 600 mils, and that can go in too. Is that just like a whipping cream, the one that you're yeah, using? Yeah, this is uh, the Bannister Downs cream, so it's just 100% fresh cream. There's nothing added to it. So if you've got a thickened cream, you can use a thickened cream. It's got just a stabiliser in it, um, and that's fine as well. It doesn't matter, any cream. Whipping cream, pouring cream, thickened cream's fine. Uh, this is ha Hala La Vanilla bean paste, and this is kind of my favourite, um, which is why I'm using it. And like, go hard or go home. So don't be, don't be skimpy with it because this is vanilla ice cream um, and you want to see those seeds in there. I want to lick this but you're watching so I won't. So, and then you just whip it up with the balloon whisk until it's all combined. Then we're going to put it into the compressor and that is it. It's frighteningly easy. And then... I'm going to turn this on, put the timer on. So we also have in store the, um, the Cuisinart, the one that you can see in the background, just to Tanina's right, to the screen left, yep. but, um, which you, um, we have those in store as well and you can um, just, you just need to freeze the bowls on those ones. The yep. Cuisinart one is our top shelf one but it has um, a compressor which means you don't need to freeze the bowl but it uh, actually helps if you do yes yeah so it'll make it quicker yeah you know you want ice cream quicker right so I'm just going to actually start this going uh, the the paddle is in there already so I'm going to start it as I pour the ice cream mixture in how simple was that was that easy or what so we're going to get it going because that'll start it moving uh, and it'll keep it equally going in. So I'm only going to pour about half in because we're going to make a different flavour with the other half.
The compressor also comes with a sorbet paddle mm -hmm. as well, which I haven't used that one yet, but um, it apparently with gelati and sorbet, it needs to be aerated more. Yes, yeah, so what happens uh, with a churner, it helps stop the formation of ice crystals. So if you just put that in the freezer as like that, it would just freeze into a solid block because all the ice, all the water in the, in the ingredients would freeze faster than everything else. And so you end up with little ice crystals and it's not, you couldn't actually eat it like that. Well, you could, but you'd have to like churn it up again. Uh, so this just prevents that from happening. Uh, and that's why a churn is a really great idea for if you're making a lot of ice cream. Plus it's kind of instant, like, you know, literally an hour and you've got ice cream. Okay, so we'll be back to show you what happens to our vanilla ice cream as it churns. So we've been churning the vanilla ice cream, the easy vanilla ice cream for about an hour. We've got our roasted strawberries here with balsamic vinegar. So we're about to add those in. You literally just put them through the little hole in the lid, scrape them in, and the churner will do the rest. And at some point you may need to put this back in the freezer, uh, you know, obviously just to keep it frozen. So it just so happens I made one earlier and here it is. This is what it looks like. And I think that these strawberries are actually roasted a little bit longer, which is probably preferable because you want them soft within the, and sort of jammy within the ice cream. Um, I'm using this Tavolo ice cream Tavolo. container. Yeah, that might work. That's better. Um, the Tavolo ice cream container, because this actually doesn't uh, let the ice cream freeze too fast or too hard, and it won't separate. So sometimes when you make ice cream, it'll separate into layers, but the Tavolo prevents that because it's double walled and insulated. So just going through with a big scoop of ice cream. Look at that beautiful little, oh, I hit a hard strawberry there. There we go. And, that is it people, balsamic, roasted balsamic strawberry ice cream for days, yum, so good. Fantastic, and this is the best, do I get to try it this time? I think so, I mm -hmm. think you should. Oh, I love it's so my yummy. job. Mm. It's tough isn't it, but someone has to do it right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh that's good. Oh, the strawberries are really good. Yeah, it goes all the way through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the flavour goes everywhere. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So thank you for making that for us. Um, the recipe will be on the blog and um, I'm just going to finish eating this one now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. See you later, guys. Bye.